uh, yesterday and today were like the hardest um, uh, rehearsals that I've ever had. We had to practice a lot of the uh, movements where I'm tied to a chair towards the end of the show. So I was tied to the chair, you know, and um, Liz was, well, she wanted me to have um, my feet, you know, exactly in a certain um, position. Just my ass really hurt really bad. And I sat there the whole like rehearsal, six hours or whatever, and um, uh, you know, with a break, 20 minute break. And then I, I sat there and then I had to do the, the end monologue. And I thought it was good. And then today, so I was like, I was like, I know how to read this monologue. And then today I came in and, you know, and we got to the monologue and it wasn't good. Like Liz was like, no, no. She's like, what is this? This is terrible. And I was like, what? And then I was like, and I was so sore. And I was just like, I got in the worst mood. She said, this is like directing a cat. So I'm like tied to a chair. I'm getting put downs and you know I'm not doing it right and so I'm just like and everybody's like oh maybe try this see maybe try that and I was like I don't want to hear anybody's opinion about how I should do this I don't know if I'm an introvert or an extrovert or whatever but when everybody says their opinion that's when um, I start just dying I start just dying inside because I'm just like I already have the idea of what to try next we suspected the patient wouldn't survive off the ventilator a blood clot had crawled up one of the vessels in the back of his brain, blocking blood flow to the area that controlled alertness. He would die from not being awake enough to cough. 